In the... Lip the Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless Terminus systems. The Perseus veil, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust, lies between their space and the Terminus systems. The Hanar are a citadel species known for excessive politeness. They speak with scrupulous precision and take offense at improper language. Hanar that expect to deal with other species take special courses to help them unlearn their tendency to take offense at improper speech. All Hanar have two names. The face name is known to the world. The soul name is kept for use among close friends and relations. Hanar never refer to themselves in the first person in conversation with someone they know on a face name basis. To do so is considered egotistical. So instead they refer to themselves as this one or the impersonal it. Their homeworld, Kajay, has 90% ocean cover and orbits an energetic white star, resulting in a permanent blanket of cloud. Due to the presence of Prothean ruins on the world, many Hanar worship them, and Hanar myths often speak of an elder race that civilized them by teaching them language. The Krogan evolved in a hostile and vicious environment. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still the number one cause of Krogan fatalities. Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. When the Solarians discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Solarians culturally uplifted them, teaching them to use and build modern technology so they could serve as soldiers in the Rachni War. Liberated from the harsh conditions of their homeworld, the quick-breeding Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. They began to colonize nearby worlds, even though these worlds were already inhabited. The Krogan <laughs> yep, rebellions the quacks lasted I already started streaming it today. When the Turians unleashed the Genophage, a Solarian developed ah, and it's good to see you. I haven't seen you around in my streams for a while. How are you doing? The Genophage makes only one in a thousand pregnancies viable. Today, the Krogan are a slowly dying breed. Well, I think for you, it's quite late. Alright, got a fair amount of missions there to do. Now for assignments. Hmm. There we go. Uh, let's see what there's to do. We got some people we can recruit, other stuff we can do. Well, at least you're doing fine, that's what counts. Here we are, Ilium. Let's head on down. Yes, I'm also doing fine as well. Duck Quacks, just been chilling and enjoying myself.
Yep, that's fine. We'll bring those two along. And as you can see, playing a lot of Mass Effect. go now let's hit land on Ilium Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all documents. Almost time to go back to physical class again and Korea. almost the end if you need for the online Korea, class. Well, that must be fun for you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosostra's most respected information brokers. Nosostra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. And I'm looking forward to seeing her too. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicate a Justicar named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Yes, yes, I will, I will. Tired of training employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps Indentutech can help. The leading provider and here we are on Ilium. Places in the gamut. Ah, so how's everybody doing? Enjoying their week? Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to side with you there, Doc Quacks. It is quite better. A class makes it easier to get through if you're much more comfortable. Shepard, I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. Oh we yeah, this is the Rachni Queen. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our Christian... Yeah, hey, I don't know that either. Sweatpants and hoodies sounds very escape. comfortable if you ask me. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again. Why would anybody not like you. those? I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. 
Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Well, I just didn't want to be the reason their species got extinct. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend Anaveria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Yeah, it always is surprising how fast time can fly. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. They're not soft, just unconcerned. They only flaunt what they can afford to lose. Oh, he used to watch Mass Effect at uh, high school, and now it's in, and now you're watching his second year of college. Welcome. You look like someone who needs. You're right. That does equipment. make time fly quite Feel a lot. Look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. How do I know this stuff is any good? You're an Asari. Maybe your stuff is no good for humans. I carry nothing but the best. I offer a money-back guarantee. That doesn't help me when I'm dead due to equipment failure. Look, I'm dropping. You've only watched my streams Landry. of Mass Effect. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. I only saw streaming this this year. I did. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, I do have Mass Effect. I bought it a few months ago. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Oh yeah, and Persona 5 Royal, that was a while ago. I'll have a look around. Well, I, you're not going to say my streams are the only streams you watch. Seriously? I mean... You made a... Which account yet my streams are the only ones you watch? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm flattered, but were none of the other streamers stream anything you like? This might be useful. So, you made your Twitch account and then you were just, what, browsing other streamers and just happened to come across me because I was playing Persona 5. <laughs> Did I get that right? Shepard? I thought you were dead. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Yeah, at I midnight. I you just have to lie. I assume you mean midnight for you, I'm Gianna because Fossi, I never stream at midnight. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. If I recall correctly, Miss Parasini, you owe me a beer. 
That I do. Have a seat. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Well, I'm certainly flattered that you only watch my streams. I mean, that's quite the support. Which I definitely do appreciate. Welcome back. Just so you know, your discount is still good. And I'll let you know about any special items that might hold your interest. Hmm. Let's do this one. An internal affairs agent from Novaria is trying to catch you dealing with smuggled goods. Horacini? Hell, thanks for the warning. I'm gonna get lost and remove some evidence. I'll program the kiosk to offer you a discount, though. Where the hell am I gonna go next, Omega? Yeah, not really any discount. No, the prices are still the same. Hey, uh, Cass, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Just realize you've been fairly quiet on uh, Discord today and yesterday. Have you been busy? You consider my stream a gold mine, Duck Quacks? Well, that's a very big compliment. Damn it, Shepard. I trusted you. I trusted you and you screwed me over. Damn it, Shepard. I trusted you. Well, I, I guess that's all she's got to say. You screwed me over. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. Oh, well, that's very generous of you. Of course, Commander. And there's Liara. I've a sorry commando unit before. Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Whew, that is cold, Shepherd, but that's cool at the same time. Hold my calls. <laughs> chocolate dream? Well, I am a big fan of chocolate, so I appreciate it. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. Uh, you sleep well, mate. It's it was good to good hear to from you. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well... For the past Ended up years. dead for two years. And now you're back. 
gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. Well, that's this good to know. Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch. Oh yeah, I remember doing this mission last time. System. It wasn't half bad. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Might as well get the info on Vane. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. That different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. All right, let's get when down to those one, terminals, Dad. The server will open somewhere. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course, I can help you with the consult and figure out Well, I just out saw one of those terminals we could hack somewhere. Should be. I mean, I, I saw it go off. Where? I minimal heat increase. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Last of the jellyfish stakes available for extranet purchases this fall from Ilium. I need a 100% safety guarantee. Or maybe it was this. Quickly, just look over the map. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says. Alien News would like to offer a clarification of our special report on notorious assassin Thane Krios. I'm gonna have 
that asshole arrested. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Oh, great. Is there anything I can do? What kind of idiot's oh, doing no. that? I crap my fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Oh, I might as well go see who this troublemaker is, because I don't recall getting a quest like this in my last playthrough. Oh god, not him of all people. You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Uh-huh. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from... Yeah, I did do that. Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Oh, please do that. Please do that. Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a specter? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed yeah, me I did do that. Extreme. I learned that lesson. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, let me make this perfectly clear. This is not acceptable. Oh, my foot! That was satisfying. That shot barely grazed you, you big baby. Sorry, my father was a Krogan. It still scared me. I knew it the badass mercenary thing. People don't usually shoot me. How did you get that arm? Yeah, I'm a little oh, curious how you got that arm off. replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off world. That I can believe. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. So, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. Well, there's a cheap plot story you know. for a sci-fi series. They have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates too, you know, for extra credits. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, yeah, I think you got sell red screwed sand. over. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. I won't. And he says, oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed him. Not to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive?
Okay, I think I know who he was talking about. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural Sorry, weapons merchant. There we go. Run away, you bastards. Give up your colony plans. No Sastra has recently received an unexpected. Okay, guess I wasn't completely right. There's a lot of a sorry here, so I don't know which one I'm supposed to talk to. Shot by the carport, okay. Oh, where's that? Carport. Maybe it's in the other area we haven't been to yet, so let's head there. She lets us back in. I'll get it. I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. I don't think it's her, because she's for like the uh, mission with Fane, so maybe up here? Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. Is that her? Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave. And you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however. Along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is, is that dead. so? Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Well, might as well see if she needs any help. There's something I can do to help. I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but... The medical contract apparently allows the company 
to perform invasive procedures without our consent. Oh, that's shitty of him. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute. Shiela, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Let's get the audio info we can for this. Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No, but they can declare us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got Ooh, back. Sounds like a bunch, bunch of con artists There's in no a way. way. We can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes, the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. I'll talk to the surveyor. Yep, I can understand that. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. Charming. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. <coughs> Said they had old souls. Hmm, I get to fear this one's gonna require a lot of talking. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. Mm, I didn't do this quest last time because it didn't pop up. Or I might have missed it, but it's quite I'm interesting I got a new one. Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Well, that worked out quite well. Oh, they're cheap, so I might as well get them. 
Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure... You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the new contract. It's fixed for now. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Okay, then. All right, that's for the terminal. I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Some Smurfs, some Justicar, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. I'm on a call. Okay, no need to be rude about it. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Oh, this must be who yeah, we're looking I've for. Got a friend in Eclipse. She told yeah, me what a little bit of footwork him. never hurts. Good. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that <laughs> friends place stretching is really it a lot. Dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to uh stop the red sand dealers. Pay attention, lady. Unlike Conrad, I actually know how to use a gun. Wait, 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 wait. This whole place is under video surveillance. You can't shoot me. I don't give a vorch's ass about your security cameras. Conrad Burner is an idiot. But he doesn't deserve to be manipulated like that. He's definitely an idiot. You're gonna make it up to him. Okay, I'll go tell him the truth. No. You're gonna tell Conrad that he did a great job, and then you're gonna leave. That's all. Are we clear? Yes, we're clear. Look, I I'm even putting you in for a discount at the kiosk, okay? I'll do that. I'll talk to Werner, and I'm gone. I swear. Ooh, I wonder what we got here. We can pick up. A heavy skin weave. Why not? This looks Health interesting. always comes in handy. I don't want to know how much, how expensive those would have been. Rose of Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Chaka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. Or if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would up. Oh, they're pretty cheap, so we can pick them up. So let's see, where is what we're looking for? Okay, that worked out a little close there. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari crap, has crap, crap, crap. Gotta move fast, gotta move fast. Right. For example, you know that new drug, the one okay, that there, almost there. neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping. Ooh, got it. Waiver for use. I charge for 50 hours plus overtime. There we go. Now I got the patent sword. It's pretty easy you to know what I'm doing. Not dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control, or the smugglers get a monopoly. Oh crap.
Come on, come on, come on. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. I heard she lost her daughter to the Gat attack at Citadel. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but <laughs> I, go, I like Shepard's personality Samara, with just the whole more renegade style answers. The commercial spaceport a few hours ago. It's you know like you sass, there, the cheek. On that balcony will summon a cab. Basically all the just stuff of a hero. Her. Just a car's embody our highest laws and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Oh, might as well just hail the cab and get a move on. These two, except where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that just Oh, it's a natural man. Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Ah, so how's everybody enjoying? Hope you're all enjoying the Mass Effect stream. I mean, I do stream it a lot, but I do hope you enjoy it. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. Oof, so everybody's got reason to be She's afraid the then. where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him. Yeah, so they innocent. Must be after me too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something okay, about Okay, let's see what we can find out about the Mercs. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. 
This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand. Hey, Nando, hello to you. And they are all cold blooded. Killer. And it's going good. Enjoying some. I'm enjoying Mass Effect, which is one of my favorite games. Been having a nice chill day. Just, you know, being me, being me. What about you? How's it going for you? You know, Nando, every time I see your name, I get hungry for Nando's. <laughs> Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Nothing to see here. Move along. Ah, oh, yeah, it started raining a while here too, so definitely very chill. You cannot see it, but I'm actually wrapped up very cozy and warm right now. And I'm not surprised people tell you that. I mean, seriously, everybody who sees that word Nando's, naturally they're going to jump for the Nando assumption of food. Every sorry does, I guess. Oh, I always enjoy the cozy, especially now that we're in the colder seasons. I mean, if that isn't the time to enjoy being cozy, when is? You know, as I play Mass Effect, I'm reminded of a rumor I saw online that apparently the, they've got, they're talking about a Mass Effect TV series. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my Oh, district. so your name is Fernando. For you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. A childhood nickname. No, oh, I can't say I'm More surprised. I mean, it is shorter than Fernando. But, I bet most people don't think, oh, the reason his name is Nando is because it's short for Fernando. But, no, it's probably Nando because he probably likes Nando's a lot. I need to find Samara and get back to my mission, with or without your help. Sounds important. Yeah, I think just he would prefer Nando. Mainly just because of the Nando process. restaurant connection, because that's all I'm thinking of. Getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the yeah, like I said, when I first saw your name, uh, I immediately thought of Nando's. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. Her just a car code won't let her be taken into custody. Well, if you ever do get a chance to know the try restaurant, trust me, you'll be glad that you got that nickname of Nando's because it is very good food. Big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders. I'm thrilled to help you. Where do you live, if you don't mind me asking? Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? That's about twice a day. Ha! <laughs> Savage. They are with Shepard. Our mission is more important than all of our lives. Anaya's superiors are just being foolish. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. Uruguay, born and raised. Can't say I've ever been myself. Samara would kill a cop. That doesn't sound very just. She I mean, I've heard of it. An honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside. Take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse Mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. Which definitely means there's going to be a shootout. Go. Great. 
Good luck. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Seriously, football was born there? Wow, that's actually cool. I mean, I'm not a big football fan, but it is actually pretty, but I do consider it pretty cool. I don't trust that Bolas. There's something about him. Yep, shoot out. I thought I called it. Some more credits because I spent a lot of credits I have. Well, that's a little rude just calling me a human. It's actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, just because you grow up playing something like uh, football doesn't necessarily mean you're still gonna be a fan of it when you get older. But yeah, being part of the country that basically, that not basically, gave birth to a sport that is globally celebrated, that is a pretty damn big deal. But just because you're from the country where it's born doesn't mean you have to love it. That had to hurt. Best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name yeah, of the so ship. I just noticed a few people the have slipped into the, the stream. I want to say a nice welcome to you all. You. But Hope your week has been going well, and that you enjoy the stream. Uh. And that was very painful for her. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Ooh, she is savage. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help. Always enjoy a stream. Yep, I'm the same there, Nando, and I do hope that you enjoy my streams too, and that you have a good time here. And that you consider me a good host because I do try my best to be a good host. I need you to help me take down the collectors. The collectors you know, I try my best to interact, show, give, give, give good gameplay, uh, give I some info on the game, history, history, characters. Try and make it informative as well as fun about the game. I must find the name of the ship she left. Because gaming has always been a gigantic passion of mine. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to Especially playing RPGs, because, you know, you get the you feel for the, the world, the character you make, your choices. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My it really influences you, in a way, I think. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I Basically. So. I'll get the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, 
But this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn... Thankfully, with little investigative options like this, you can actually learn more about types of characters in this world, so it saves me explaining it, because I definitely wouldn't be able to do it as well. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari's space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari's space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation. But now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be completely... Oh, don't worry, Nando. Your stream was very enjoyable. And I definitely enjoyed it. It doesn't matter if you talk a lot, because I don't talk a lot in my streams either. It's really just more when I'm engaging with the chat. Or if there's something in the game I feel like I want to point out. But... <clears throat> don't feel like you have to be speaking constantly. Do you have any leads? And I can assure you that you're not boring anyone to death. Okay, I mean, if it's how you like to stream, just playing the game and saying things when you feel like you want to save them, then just go ahead and do that. It's completely fine. I've got to get back to my station. It does nothing for you to feel insecure about. Thank you, Shepard. Okay, I think it's because a lot of the uh, streamers out there, they do like, they're constantly chatting, they have all these flashy overlays going up and about. So it does create sort of like a psychological standard that you have to be as engaging, you have to be showing off this, that, whatnot. But you really don't have to, you just play and stream the way that makes you happy. Did you speak to the detective? And that you enjoy you most. You I mean, so long as you this. enjoy it, You've the people watching are going to enjoy it because they'll feel your enjoyment. What do you mean, Earth Clan? Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell you know, if that everything. makes sense. I mean, that's the best way I can explain it. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. Well, so I'm glad I was able to give to you some me. advice and help you out a little. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. Just remember that, so long as you're enjoying it, true people are going to enjoy it. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. Usually I'm not very good at like giving out advice and opinions operation. like that, but I think when gaming's involved I become a lot more informative in what I can say because I understand gaming a lot. And in regards to streaming, well, I've only been streaming for almost a year now. Take it. And I can safely say I've learned a lot. Each Eclipse sister well, maybe not a lot, a lot, uniform. but enough to give me a good understanding of it changed. and how it's best just to do it your way with streaming. Don't feel like you have to copy someone or make their stream like your stream like theirs because it works better. You make it what's best for you and creating what's best for everyone else in your stream. Yeah, so basically just never feel like you're under pressure to do something in your stream that you aren't comfortable doing. Yeah, I highly doubt you're going to do that.
Let's uh, switch weapons to a pistol. Okay, need to heal my team. I'm glad that one hit. a lot of work. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about Nando. I'm happy if I managed to relieve some of that pressure on you because it really was unnecessary pressure. But you don't have to worry about it. I mean, you know what's right for your stream. You know what you like to do in games. And in terms of how you stream that, it really, like I said, it just comes down to you. Down. People might say you should put this in your stream or do this for your stream, but it's important to remember it's your stream, you do it your way. Who's behind here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. You're in an enemy uniform, and I'm gonna kill you. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought uh, being more, the mercenary huh? would be cool. Yeah, I, I don't, don't believe you. Really like. You chose your side, Elnora. And you lost. Screw that bastard, and screw you. Uh, do you mean Jack here? It's more protection than you think. And good to see you, Nate. How are you? Looking for a bit. I, I appreciate that, Nando. Thanks for looking. Thanks for chatting. And I really hope you enjoyed your time here. And I look forward to seeing you again. I definitely look forward to it. And yeah, Nate, I'm good too. Just been enjoying my stream, enjoying some chats with some people. All in all, good day. Well, maybe it is the tattoos that keep us safe. How do you know? This might be useful. Maybe the armor tattoos that create a armor on the skin. Now, wouldn't that be kind of cool? Ah, see, Nate, you know what's cool, you know what's cool. We've been spotted. Plus she's got these biotic abilities, so she never has to worry about getting too close to enemies that are shooting at her. Oh, 
Okay, I need to take cover. Always oh, so much shooting to do there is. So much shooting. Ooh, let's get this terminal hacked. There it is. Fire that grenade launcher. I'll tear you apart. Yeah, you, that enemy really shouldn't have been lingering there. so good with a sniper rifle. Of course it doesn't have a lot of ammo so I can't use it as much as I would like. Didn't go your way. Now it's a flying gunship that's going to be shooting us. Just what we need. Oh well. Just got to take it down like any other enemy. Might have been a bit close. Oh. Oh, now that was close.
most exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are gonna be so jealous. Elnora was the killer. I knew I smelled murder on that bitch. Detective and I would be interested in this. Well, I've got some more info there. And there it is. Oh, that was very close. Doing the damage. Almost done. And that's that. Can be a pretty tough ship, but not that hard to deal with once you have the right weapons. Shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney Four sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves that the Volus is a criminal. I'm sure Detective and I would be interested in this. Let's worry about that after we find the ship name. Yep, still gotta get that ship's name. things and they happen fear me lesser creatures 
for I am biotics made flesh. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great biotic wind. Well, you're definitely full of hot air. Yes. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over. But they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Forest Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Man, he's on some or powerful shit he is. That I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure will get delayed. When the chips are down, even your friends will screw you for an extra cred. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first... The leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Charge. An ill wind blows upon Wasaya. Captain of the Eclipse Sisters, after me! Wow. This is not gonna end well for him, I can just tell. That was mean, but damn funny. Actually, we'll stick with the hand cannon. Oh, that didn't end well for him. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up. Now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! Look out! This should slow him down. Got too much toxicity. Okay, that's her down.
I bet the name of that ship is in here somewhere. Oh, that wasn't overly hard. There's really more toxic gases that were the bigger issue. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. for removing the eclipse threat earth clan it will take them months to rebuild their organization also merely out of curiosity when you were poking about did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me you never know when something like this might come in handy if it might change your mind earth clan returning that manifest would be very profitable for you if you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. Yeah, it just took a lot of shooting at dead to get it. Ready to leave immediately if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions. But I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths, the third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. The code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. It's quite mystic, I have to say. Anything extremely dishonorable. I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. Oh, great. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence he brings forward. 
I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Ooh, good. More Take credits. This. Alright, gain some levels. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I'm not so sure about being pow praise. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. All right, that is a new crew member. Yeah, she probably upgrade biotic damage and duration. While we're here, I might as well get those new armors I bought. Jack would like to talk with you, Commander. Yes, I know those are the loyalty missions which we will have to do. Right, that will do, so we'll apply. Trying to get as much weapon damage as I can. Alright, let's head back to Ilium because there's still some stuff needing to be done. Let's land.
Ah, loading always takes its time, so always stick with Garrus, and we'll bring our new team member, Samada. Okay, that's us sorted there now. Forward a questionable shipping note to Mr. Thax. It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. Oh, that's one of the most courteous Krogans I've ever encountered. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? Okay, nothing there. N new. Have a pleasant visit, Nos Astra, Commander. Oh, it's certainly not been dull. Are you a Corian or Bolus who is tired of being passed over for promotions because of discrimination against exo suit wearing employees? Genetic paradigms invite you to consider environmental adaptive therapy. Our train staff has a success rate. I need minimal heat increase and speed. The council thought the blast up, the first NR Spectre, would play by the rules. It considers itself fortunate. Yeah, that's galactic news, so we don't really need to listen to that, because it's just a bunch of the same stuff over and over, really. Merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. I guess I really helped. This was a dangerous operation, Conrad. You could have been killed. I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. I didn't know. I I can't risk you being worried about my safety. I'll stop pretending to be something I'm not. But thanks for letting me help, at least for a little while. It's really good to have you back. Well, it's against the max pay. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Yeah, anyway, I guess it would. This is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Catch you anything? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. That actually does Nobody make on sense. Fessia wanted to listen it does. to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out, colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like the colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar, even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, you your figure's blood gotten daughter. matriarchal, Should be talking and about Liara? Is too young to remember how the Corians looked inside those suits. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. 
We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blew up my ass. So now, I serve drinks. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. That was a Krogan. Yeah. When he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. I was a girl, he'd well, tell to me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. <laughs> if your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Thanks for well, kind of hard to that. argue that one. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Thanks for letting me Once know. I saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. What's it like being an Asari matriarch? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than Thanks I. Thanks for did. telling me about that. Right. Don't even... All right, let's see what happens when we buy a drinking game. Guess not much. Let's go for the mystery one, just see what happens. He gets wobbly, okay. That was somewhat interesting, if not a little dull. to sacrifice their own convictions and beliefs in exchange for a soulless corporate identity. I understand that, they that do. kind of life would be attractive to some people, but not to me. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind's blowing. Hmm. Make sure I'm not missing anything, side stuff. 
Because one of the ways to get like the best ending out of the uh, trilogy here is to do as much side content as possible. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. It should be about fr Let me know when you have those terminals. Give me that. Thank you, Shepard. This may help. All right, haven't that means I haven't found all the terminals yet. Galactic news, so nothing to hack there. going on here what do you want sorry sorry that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves the Krogan is reading those love poems to get your attention his name is Char we're kind of dating but well we're on a break and he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by well wooing me it's really bad you know one of the things I definitely love about Mass Effect is that there, there's so much realism between how the alien species interact with each other to how other people like on Earth interact with each other. It makes it feel very natural and organic and that it really represents that everyone really is the same. And that I like a lot. Let your scalp go back to its natural blue and settle down with someone dependable. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't. And you've already decided. I I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. That's what I do. It 
Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about me. Sometimes you say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Confidence. Wow, you're pulling that you on me? My father was an excellent character. Alright, now that we've done that, we can go speak to Liara. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. He's the most powerful and Just for people who aren't aware of the Shadow Broker. Want to no keep you all nice and is. informed. Given his resources, there's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. You've spent two years of your life hunting the Shadow Broker? Liara, that's insane. You don't know what he did. You couldn't. You were gone. And we all did what we had to do after that. Let's not argue. I don't have enough friends left to lose one. Did you need help finding anything? I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. I don't think I can't remember if yes. I selected that option, so I best do it now ago. while I'm here. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let... I'll talk to you later, Liara. Wait, so she needs something else to talk about? Shepard, so, what can I do How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. Then I best get on it. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. 
When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. All right. If I remember correctly, there are five of them. Oh, and here's one. Okay, so there should only be a few left. Okay, so there's just number two left. Wherever that is. Wish I could remember the location of these data points, but of course I can't. Maybe it's up here. Close right on the edge. Shepard, did you get any information on the observer? All five of the suspects are male. The observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nick Saris. She got the information. Nick Saris gave me the information. Nick Saris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases from anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is what you should make you miss. Okay, 
guess I should go check on the R to see what happened, if anything happened. Alright. Let's do it. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixeras had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here, Nixeras was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you have any trouble with Nixeras? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. Damn. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Let me know if you need any more help. Thank you. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? So we've heard there's a Shadow I'll Broker DLC story that we'll do later, we will. Now we could recruit Fane, but I want to get some loyalty missions all out of the way first. Because, uh, like I said, those loyalty missions are important to do. I'm aware. Yep, so we have loyalty missions to do, but what I think we're going to do is just call it there tonight. But, of course, I want you all to stick around for the Winter Raid. And I already know who we're going to go raid. So, thank you everyone who came in, chatted. It's been a huge amount of fun as always. Uh, I'll probably be back on Saturday. Yep, so this is who we're going to go raid. Doing a 12 hour stream, I believe he is. So that should be definitely worth checking out. So yeah, I'll de be back on Saturday, and I'll probably do another round of Mass Effect before I play something else, so look forward to that. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'm sure you'll have great weekends, or I hope you will, and I'll see you then. So everyone, take care.